The front page of the New York Times from today, July 14, says the first coronavirus vaccine tested in humans shows early promise. The biotech company Moderna and the NIH, the National Institute of Health, have been working on mRNA-based vaccine for coronavirus for a while now. A new report from the New England Journal of Medicine, or NEDG, shows positive finding regarding mRNA-based vaccine. What is mRNA vaccine? The mRNA-1273 is the name of the vaccine, and this particular mRNA encodes the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, and the SARS-CoV-2 is obviously the virus that causes COVID-19. It is when you take the genetic information that codes for spike protein and inject into humans. The body uses the viral genomic information to make viral protein. At the same time, the body also makes antibodies against the viral protein. The next time you are infected, the body remembers the virus and mounts defense against that particular virus. According to scientists, if mRNA vaccine works for the coronavirus, it will help us control the pandemic. It will also help us develop vaccine for other diseases based on the current knowledge and practice. One key advantage of using the mRNA approach is that it's easier to make mRNA molecules in large quantities. This means we can develop and deploy vaccine at a, at a faster rate than previously known. The New England Journal of Medicine report shows data from 45 people which were divided into three groups of 15, each receiving different doses. The three doses included 25 microgram, 100 microgram, and also 250 microgram of the mRNA vaccine. Just to summarize, the study included 45 healthy adults between the ages of 18 to 55 who received two different vaccinations that are separated by 28 days, meaning you give the injection and then wait 28 days and then you give them another injection. What did they find? After the first vaccination, antibody responses were higher with higher dose, meaning measured antibody was around 40,000 in the 25 microgram group, around 109,000 in the 100 microgram group, and around 213,000 in the 250 microgram group, meaning there is a dose-dependent response. So as you increase the dose, you see an increase in, in the uh, production of the antibodies. Again, this clearly shows dose-dependent responses, uh, which is uh, very important to keep in mind. Again, after the second vaccination, the antibody titers increased to around 300,000 for the 25 microgram group, around 800,000 for the 100 microgram group, and around 1 million titers for the 250 microgram uh, group. Again, this shows increased antibody response following the second shot of the vaccine, meaning the second stage of response is higher than the first stage. Adverse events that occurred during the course of this uh, vaccination study included fatigue, chills, headache, myalgia, which is just pain in the muscle, and also pain at the injection site. Considering this is a new vaccine, uh, these are typical uh, symptoms that we uh, see with the vaccines that are already on the market. And again, there are more studies that are uh, being done and uh, we will get more data when they do testing uh, on more patients and uh, we will see that in the, in the near future. The conclusion is this, the mRNA vaccine induced anti-SARS-CoV-2 
immune responses in all participants and there was no significant safety concern, at least for now. We might see more uh, safety issue in the future, but at least based on this study and based on these 45 patients, uh, this vaccine seems to be promising. And again, we'll find out as we uh, enroll more people in the study. This means the trial of the vaccine will continue uh, with around 30,000 people uh, who will be enrolled in the, in, the, in the study. And again, we'll get more data uh, as uh, we uh, gather more information from these patients uh, in terms of safety profile and also uh, in terms of the efficacy of the vaccine. And based on the company information, the results from this larger study will be revealed in October. Uh, this is interesting for a couple of reasons. First, it takes around four to 10 years to develop an effective vaccine. And we're still not sure if this vaccine will work or not. Yet, we're already seeing some positive steps in the span of a year, and this is a great triumph for science and medicine uh, in terms of the speed with which uh, scientists went on to develop this vaccine is, is truly remarkable. And if the vaccine trial continues to induce immunity and if safety profile remains reasonable, we could see a vaccine in less than a year. This would mark a new beginning in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. And the next time we have an outbreak, we will have a better knowledge and scientific tools at our disposal. This is Dr. Jamal again, and thank you for watching Sahil. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, leave us a comment and we will respond to your comments.